just taken delivery of my new dash cam, which I'm going to be installing in today's video. I've been meaning to get a dash cam for a while and I decided to partner with Carparide just because of the functionality of this dash cam. I'm going to show you guys once I've unboxed it, but it's got some pretty cool features. So first of all, Apple CarPlay integration, Android Auto, AirPlay, Android Cast, and not to mention, we've also got a HD touchscreen, rear view camera, voice controls, aux input, SD card, can connect your phone. And the coolest part is it's got a 350 degree rotating camera, which is going to be not only useful for dash cam footage, but also a little side hack, which I've only just realized is I can use it to fill my car POV segments so I can rotate the camera around. As such. And now, not only can I film the road, but I can also film my POV segments. And as you can see, the screen is pretty huge. Right, let's get this set up. Okay, so I'm just sat in the M140 and I'm about to set up this dash cam, which should be very simple to set up. I think it's just a case of plugging it into the lighter port. I'm not gonna permanently wire it just yet because you can do that so it stays on all of the time, but I'm gonna plug it in, test it out, check its functionality and take it from there. Within the box, you do get all the mounting gear so that you can mount it to the windscreen, which I'll probably do actually. Then we have power connector, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack or wire and then you've got a sticky pad which you can also mount there because i have the screen i'm not going to mount it there i'll probably mount it somewhere over here for the time being but if you've got a car where your screen is down here or you might not even have a screen then you can mount it just there which i think is a perfect spot for it and what's interesting is you can also wire a reversing camera to this as well, which I won't be doing in this video, but maybe at some point in the future. And this I think is another sticky pad. Right, so let's mount it to the windscreen. So for the purpose of this video, I've temporarily mounted it over there, just to show you guys what kind of footage you're gonna get out of it. But I believe it's 4K and genuinely, I don't know how well this is picking it up, but 4K H.265 Ultra HD, that is ridiculously clear. And as I said, you can fully, fully rotate this camera around. 360 degrees so you can have it pointing at yourself which that is gonna be pretty awesome actually for my POV videos so as you can see fully adjustable Now what I'm going to do is connect CarPlay and show you guys the rest of the features. So you've got Android Auto, um, AirPlay, you've got Wi-Fi video, just an abundance of features.
and I believe we are now connected. So use CarPlay. Starting. And look at that guys. We've got Apple CarPlay on a dash cam. That is ridiculous if you ask me. Amazing, but ridiculous. And you've got Waze as well. So if you've got a car without a screen, then this is gonna be brilliant. But even if you do have a screen without Apple CarPlay, with this functionality, it's definitely worth a purchase. And also for you guys, due to the partnership, I've managed to secure you guys $50 off as well. So if you use code NADIM, you're gonna get $50 off this dash cam. So I will put the referral link in the description box and the discount code and you'll probably see it on the screen right now, but I'm loving this. Initial impressions, amazing. So you've also got a Bluetooth music player. If I let's connect Spotify, and this is without CarPlay by the way. So it's got a built-in speaker, there you go. Because I don't want to get copyrighted, but there we go. So we've also got AirPlay functionality. So I'm going to put in password. No way, that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. If this works, guys, you need to get this dash cam. You talked to your dad recently? Right. Talk. Why don't you want... Bit of Bugsy Malone. So another cool feature is you can do split screen mode. So let's just see full screen mode screen. Split screen mode is only supported in CarPlay. Okay, let's do split screen mode and go back into CarPlay. Would you look at that guys? That is that is ridiculous. I'm not even just gassing because I've partnered with CarPride. That is genuinely cool. You've got your dash cam screen over there and your fully functional CarPlay menu over on the side. You've got Waze and that is recording. It does come with a memory card as well, which is brilliant. And transferring this across, you transfer across like you normally would. Just extract the footage from the memory card and you're good to go. Okay, so I didn't even have record resolution on 4K, so put it on 4k collision sensitivity you can add that as well so if you're gonna crash then it can detect that you've got a inbuilt microphone as well so there we go microphone you've got the reverse line calibration so that's if you install the review camera of course but just genuinely So it's almost 8 p.m. and it is going slightly dark outside, as you can see. But if you look at the footage, that is still crystal clear. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video there. Thanks again to CarPride for sending me this super dash cam out because that is exactly what it is. It's a super dash cam. I'm just looking at the footage right now off to the left and I just... I'm genuinely mind blown at how clear the footage is. Maybe it's because my old dash cam was rubbish, but this with a huge screen, it's, it's crazy. But again, all of the links to the product will be in the description box. If you use code NADIM, you're gonna get yourself $50 off as well. Dash cam, definitely worth the investment. You can probably wire it in as well somewhere so that it permanently stays on. And if you just like looking after your car and you've got an expensive car in general, then having a dash cam is, it's a must. Now, seeing as we're focusing on security, I think in the next video, I did want to install some new CCTV cameras as well at my dad's house, because when I park my car there, I want to make sure that the car is safe. So stay tuned for that. I will be attempting to install some security cameras and uh, we'll see how that goes. But thanks again for watching the video. Thanks to all the new subscribers. 
and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. God bless.